Hi, good day everyone. Let us discuss intercultural communication, the impact of globalization on communication. Does culture affect communication process? In an ever-changing time, there are still things that remain constant, one of which is our culture. The things that made us who we are, especially the way we deal with people. With the advancement of technology comes more opportunities for a culture to be shared. As collaborative future professionals, you have to understand that communication requires deeper appreciation and tolerance for various cultures, which will aid you to work collaboratively toward the vision of your chosen profession. So now, let us discuss what do we mean when we say culture. Culture is basically a set of shared values that a group of people holds. Such values affect how we think, how we act, and more importantly, the kind of criteria by which we judge other people. Cultural meanings render some behaviors as normal and right and others strange or wrong. Every culture has rules that its members take for granted. I don't know if you would agree or not agree with that one. Few of us are aware of our own biases because cultural imprinting is begun at a very or imprinting begun at a very early age. And while some of culture's knowledge, rules, beliefs, values, phobias, and anxieties are taught explicitly, most is observed subconsciously. So we better check ourselves and we, you know, somehow do some self-evaluation. What are those cultures? What are those practices do we have right now? And um, we could uh, check as well if that affects on how we deal with other people. Do we judge them? Do we think that we are right and they are wrong? Yeah, let's have some sort of self-evaluation about that one. So intercultural communication is the study and the application of knowledge on cultural perceptions and symbol systems of people belonging to different cultures. And um, the intended meaning of any message differs when encoded by a person of a certain culture and decoded by someone of the other. Like if you're gonna have your message being given in, or I mean, I'm being delivered uh, using the Tagalog language and deliver that to someone who cannot speak and understand will definitely there would be some sort of hardships or there would be some sort of challenges when it comes to encoding and um, decoding the message itself so <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the different meanings of symbols in different culture also vary making the interpretation difficult this one is uh, connected with the, the second um, definition of intercultural communication or the second aspect of intercultural communication. So definitely there would, there would be some tendency of uh, different um, making meanings when we do have a different uh, language or when we do have um, uh, different styles in speaking. So while applying intercultural communication, um, it refers to making people aware and able to adopt others' cultures when they communicate with them and thus have a meaningful communication. So the bottom line is, whenever we do intercultural communication, we need to be aware and we need to be sensitive on, on how we could uh, adjust and how we could uh, adhere on the, the systems of, of the language that they use. Well, basically, the language that we speak somehow um somehow dictate what kind of culture do we have right so definitely enable for us to get um totally immersed with with that certain culture or sorry with that uh, certain uh, language we need to be we need to be aware of the kind of culture that we have and uh, with those types or with those kind of of acts we could uh, go ahead and do have a meaningful communication like if you do um go in some other places for example you go to to the other country such as um the united states of america well definitely if you do and yeah basically we are already aware on what kind of kind of culture or we we somehow have clue on what kind of culture do we have do they have there and definitely we have this um 
knowledge about their language will definitely definitely the intercultural communication will be somehow be smooth sailing but still there is a need for an immersion for us to get a more meaningful communication so intercultural communication can be done verbally so we could uh, use spoken and written language and uh, we could uh, also somehow use some nonverbal cues so globalization, it is the word used to describe the growing interdependence of the world's economies, cultures, and populations brought about by cross-border trade in goods and services, technology, and flows of investment, people, and information. Well, definitely globalization involves interdependence of, of the countries around the globe, around the world, like it's all about the trades of goods, the trades of um, manpower, the trades of technology, the trades of or the flow of investment from this country to another country. And of course, also trade of information and the likes. So, by the way, uh, globalization, the first globalization happened in the Silk Road with uh, the Chinese and some other um Asian uh, people. So what speeds up globalization? Of course, we have the internet. It uh, has revolutionized connectivity and communication, just like what we do have right now, especially in this hard times, wherein um, we greatly utilize the internet in studying, in working, in communicating with our loved ones, in connecting to other people. Transportation, Faster ships, trains, and airplanes have allowed us to move around the globe much more easily. Well, definitely, I, I it is really agreeable that those um, means of transportation that we do have really um, helped a lot, enable for every one of us to get involved in globalization. Because, you know, with this uh, certain... Um, means of transportation we are able to go from one place to another like from here in the philippines going to abroad having or giving our services there um, being an ofw and the likes so yeah transportation is a big help like as you could observe right now it is you know somehow more i mean it's faster than before right like i cannot imagine going to the united states to its states with just um a ship you know, or riding a ship definitely it'll be too to i mean you'll be having a very a lengthy travel time right compare if you're gonna ride um, an airplane so yeah those faster ships those trains and airplanes and then what is the impact of globalization and uh, communication Right, so the first one, it is the um, increased business opportunities. Many companies today hire employees that are located in other countries. Using communication vehicles such as um, video calling, it, it, may, it, make it, simple. Now, it makes it simple to converse with colleagues across the globe or investors or it could be um, your clients. Right, just like with uh, work such as the virtual assistant, the call center agents, the online teachers, um, the the crypto business, and um, some sort of business that really, um, you know, used technology, okay, and um, that I mean some sort of business that involves not just the Filipino people but some other people from different countries or the foreigners. All right, next. <clears throat> All right, well, with television, movies, uh, cultural barriers are becoming uh, less prevalent. I don't know if you could observe this, but yeah, I want you to somehow assess what's on your surroundings. Being able to communicate effectively and frequently with colleagues or friends across the planet helps people understand each other's cultures a little better and um that being able to communicate somehow is a product of what we watch on the television and um of course what we see in, in the internet what we could search in the internet definitely um it 
somehow lowers down that um, cultural barriers, especially if you get um, so immersed with globalization, like you're going from one place to another and you, you are very welcoming when it comes to other people who are practicing different culture than you. Yeah, that could uh, really lessen that cultural barrier. All right, the last one is um, the global village and uh, created when distance and isolation no longer matter because people are connected by technology. So whether we agree or not, there is already a global village wherein a lot of us are, are you know, a lot of us belong. For example, in Facebook, it is not just us, the millennials, the Gen Zs who are using the Facebook. Facebook isn't just used for entertainment at all. It, it can be used for business. It can be used for um, as a dating app or dating site. Facebook can be used as well for us to communicate with our relatives from the other side of the world and the like. So definitely the global village is already been created. And that's it for today. So that's all about the intercultural communication and uh, how do globalization affects communication. That's it. And I hope that every one of you will have a wonderful day ahead. God bless you.